you think? Uh, what's the final diagnosis for this perfect view? It's the operation to get operation chair and the patient with what is it in this road? Drainage. Why? Tracheal tube. Yes, why? Uh, because it helps you to, uh, to breathe. To breathe. To breathe. To breathe. It, do, it does it mean that because the abscess the, and phlegmon localize the, inside and, and change the, the position the of the of the airway of the tongue the of the tongue mm -hmm. yes and it's like the stop for the normal breathing mm -hmm. of course the patient under the general anesthesia it's not the local anesthesia intra we know usually mm -hmm. What is it? What do you think? It's marks for the opening of the axis. This is planning, yes. It's the markers for the planning. How will be the X. operative axis? Mm -hmm. Why we have two lines there? Because some on the examination card, you know, you remember examination task and examination card has this picture for example and some question about it why we have two horizontal lines there uh, because, uh, it's, it's think, think 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 guys because the flipmon is uh, in, the, in, the, in the, a lot of areas of the of the face no it's we need to palpate the lower jaw and this is will be the first line why patient don't don't stay the patient has the horizontal position change the all structures yes if you remember the abscess and phlegmon you remember what changes the position of the soft tissues you you know that the skin stretchable the muscles stretchable and we need to know where is it the real line of the anatomical structures because when edema finished when will be the process of regeneration what change configuration, configuration. yes it will be normally and if we has if we had the mistake about the incision the line of regeneration will be not inside will be on front yes in scar will be not cosmetic visible yes Sorry. yes and this is will be first line this is the position of the lower jaw can you see how it with the slow angulation yes it's like the, the ramos this line is the second you remember if we discussed about the submandibular yes how it will be open it will be down to the two centimeter will be the same like the line of the mandible to the full thickness of the focus of inflammation it doesn't mean that the flag design it's not one centimeter for full length from angle to the center of the mandible. What do you think? What is it? What the perfect straight line or vertical line? Midline of the feet. Uh, What's the anatomical area localized there? Uh, you remember the claw of the mouse, yes? Mm -hmm. We discussed it's the lower jaw. Mm -hmm. We discussed it. The floor of the mouse consists of two floors. Okay. Upper and the you marker the university has for the new markers.
Do you remember two? Yeah? First floor. First floor. Sub. Lingual. Second floor. Submandibular. And this line? Sub. If we are planning the flap design, we need to use the right technique. If you see the patient, now we know if we discuss this one, this is how to open sub mandibular. If we discuss this one, it's how to open submental. What will be the final diagnosis? Phlegmon of the floor of the mouse. Very important when you check the examination task. Please, mm -hmm. if we know that this or it's the floor mm -hmm. of the mouse, final diagnosis will be phlegmon of the floor, floor of the mouse. Of the mouse. Why? In two places. Because two or mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. spaces inside. <laughs> It doesn't mean the final diagnosis will be like this one. If it will be, if you answer like the phlegmon or submandibular and phlegmon uh, with submental, it's not the correct because it's two and more. If it's two and more spaces, final diagnosis will be phlegmon floor of the mouse. Floor of the mouse. It's very important because if you answer like the separate, it will be the mistake. Understand why? You will be, you was a right, but it's not the full right because if it's two and more, final like this one because it's absolutely different tactic for the surgical therapy and for the uh, general therapy. It doesn't matter. If it will be like this one, it's like the plane, like the Lego. If this one and this one, it will be the same. If if two in some mandible. If this one and this one the same. If only this two submandibular area will be the same. One submental, one submandibular, one sublingual, the same. Understand what I mean? Then we're planning how it looks. <clears throat> yes, this one, how we did the insertion. Can you see how it looks? Mm -hmm. What t-shirts we need to cut? We, uh, skin, fat, then it depends on the area. If you remember the topographic anatomy, we have the fossa of the neck. Yes, we have two layers, parietal fossa. Yes, some we can cut some we like the open then we're going deeper to the muscles what the general organs localize in submandibular and sublingual areas salivary glands salivary glands you remember it you remember how how long we discussed about the uh, salivary glands and you know that if we cut the capsula of the salivary gland it doesn't mean that the <coughs> salivary gland should be. yes should be extracted very accurately one of uh complication from this is the when the purulent exudation localized and touches to the salivary glands and stimulates the necrosis of this of course, it's not one week uh, or it's not one day 
but it's long process. But you remember from the um, past of physiology how it's growing. I mean, how growing the inflammation. Mm. We start with this level and continue, yes, to decrease. Of course, the general con condition suffering, but you think about the organ who localize inside, it's very important to understand the clinic more. We use uh, the instrument, uh, this is the for the calculation, you know, it's the, this is the calculator. It helps to stop uh, the bleeding uh, in the operative area. Then, this is retractum. Uh, uh, no, it's like the mosquito. We use, yes, we use it. It's uh, for opening those. Yes, for opening this. It's right. Then we use two fingers. Always use because it's the perfect instrument. Sensation. For to understanding where is it. Without sharp edges. Understand it. Yes. We need to see the bone it's very important to feel the bone what the num what the name of the bone as the mandible as the mandible yes then what we do then we need to open which side sub mental it's not the parallel you open one you finish with one and continue to the Second one. Uh, if uh, two submandibulous area, yes, it it's will be from one side, the side to the other side, from the one angle to the other, uh, to the next, uh, to, from the right to the left angle, yes. Uh, but uh, if it's two submandibular and one submental, it will be the same, but we have the vertical line like this one. And if uh, the epidermal localized into submandibulous area. We have the cut this, 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 and one like this one. What's the idea of surgical therapy? We treat as as possible as we can, as fast as we can. To open the focus of purulent. Because no exit, no entrance to the purulent exudation. To go out. If it will be like a door, we open and the purulent exudation going. We like to create the door with the surgical treatment to open that the all purulent exudation going from inside to outside. What do you think? What happens with the patient? If no surgical therapy, we'll find another way to breathe in all the exudation communicated. Yes, microflora produce, 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 produce cells from the blood, I mean the leukocytes, going here, 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 fighting. Yes, but no final time that these young cells of the leukocyte has the same function like the adult. Understand what I mean? And leukocytosis from the blood analysis will be decreased. Why? We need increase, yes. We need, but inside increase will be only young cells and decrease the adult. We need a time that the young cells will be older to have the full functions. But if the patient has the abscess and phlegmon, we don't have this time, unfortunately. And the pure anticipation, like you said, find new spaces and spreading from this area to the other areas. What will be finally for the patient? Will be like a ball. Patient ha can die. Yes. yes. Of what? What the reason of this? Please, please. It's maybe like the asphyxia. Yes, that's right. Because if the
the abscess and flick molds. You know, it has the old touchers between the other areas. And it's not like the uh, wall, hard wall. The wall is the muscles. The wall is the, like the uh, arteries and nerves. And it's softer. <coughs> and of course, if we know that we are moving always, the muscles moving always, and stretchers constrict, stretchers constrict, constrict, and the purulent going between these spaces and find new space to prolong this, to continue, yes. Very big problem. We have two ways, upper and the lower. If it's upper, what will be the... No, 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 maybe it will... Uh, Meningitis. Uh, uh, Meningitis. Yeah. Yes. And also, Kerberosinus. Yes, and... And... Uh, abscess okay. of <laughs> the brain. Of the brain, yes. What do you think? Can we save the patient with this complication? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Abscess of what? Of the brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No. Or... To, uh, uh, it depends on the uh, situation, but we have the mathematics uh, rules. We know it's from statistics. We have the percent. Patient survive if the patient has complications from abscess and phlegmons only in 8 to 10 percent. But the life, I mean, the characteristic of the life will be not like was before. Because for all life, patient has problem. Patient needs to treat, patient needs a medicine. Because, for example, imagine, uh, pure on exudation go into the, uh, from the infraorbital area to the orbit. We know it, that we have these special structures who has connection from infraorbital foramen straight to orbit. Patient can live with this, yes, but the characteristic of the life will be decreasing. Why? Because patient can lost the eye. The same. It's like the prognosis because you have in each clinical we have prognosis. prognosis. You remember it from the last, how to answer. What does it mean prognosis? Prognosis Result for life, pre yes, patient will be will survive. Outcome. But the how it will be after with complications. Yes. So doctor, please uh, for the absent ligon of the brain, yes. if we will treat it, the patient will be psycho or Patient may be invalid after that. Okay. <laughs> How to treatment the abscess of the brain? Drilling? Mm -hmm. Open it? Mm -hmm. How it will be? Who knows? Okay. If it's about the upper. The not gen dangerous complication if the patient has maxillary sinusitis. Mm -hmm. We know how to treat, yes. we really know how to treat to stop this without changes inside the structures. Mm -hmm. This very big problem and this very big problem that the anatomical structures change the structures, mm -hmm. change the function, stop the function or decrease the function. How it's be, how is abscess how it will be around the brain? Yeah. They go. Okay, infraorbital area. Infraorbital foramen. Nose. Okay? It's like the skin. We have inflammation in infraorbital area. Where is localized inflammation? Between the bone and between the soft tissue. What is the structure of the soft tissues there? Skin, fat. That's all. No muscles there. Muscles will be lower. But in the same layers, 
I mean in the fat layers. What vessels localize? Here. Here. Around the Yeah. And where is this container of this? To the eye. Then? Then the brain. To the brain. Then then to, the, to the brain. To the brain. Yeah. Focus of inflammation. Mm. Purulent exudation. Can penetrate in the to the inside. vessels. Mm. Yes. yes. They destroyed the wall of the vessels and go in. And it's bleeding. With the pressure and the structures. And we have the new focus of purulent inside. Mm. The sickness different. I mean the sickness of the uh, artery or veins. You know it. The diameter, I mean. It's what happened inside? <laughs> they fixed inside the vessels and stimulized the locally inflammation. Mm -hmm. General condition suffering before, because we have abscess and phlegmolus. And we have another focus of inflammation inside. What happened with the general? Or generally with the body. <laughs> Patient, uh, the body fight not only this, but can fight with another focus of inflammation. And then start the process of inflammation inside. Of course, patient suffering from this, suffering from this. It's very, it's not a long time, it's short. It's three to five days. It's quickly, it's very quickly, and we have the systemic changes. It's how it looks, it's very easy. It's the same. You remember when we discussed Farankel and Carbuncle mm -hmm. in last yes. semester? Mm -hmm. It's the same localization yes, in the follicular fat. inside. Has the same complication. We discussed that thrombophlebitis of the angle of the uh, of the angle veins and the same sepsis maybe yes. because with the blood you know that if it will be good that the blood will be only in maxillofacial region another part on the <coughs> arm another part on the leg but they all have communication yes. and the general blood nutrition you know it is how many one minute yeah, Sepsis too, yes. If it how it localized, if it's uh, upper, if it's lower, like you said, it's metastinitis, yes. How trans how uh, how trans not transfuse? How no no. How going? Okay. How going the pure and exudation from some mandibular area Did to the metastinitis to the metastin? So how it? We have pterygomandibular. Mm -hmm. Oh no! We have um, sternocleidomastoideous muscles. You remember it. If you remember the borders mm -hmm. of the submandibular, mm -hmm. we have one touchers mm -hmm. in on the angle when touchers the sternocleidomastoideous muscles, and it's not the wall. It's the same muscles. The exudation penetrated and going deeper here, inside. deeper. If it will be superficial part of the sternocleidomastitis area, it will be the. We have two types of metastinitis, you know, anterior, posterior. and posterior. If it will be anterior, mm. if it uh, localized from sublingual around or pterygo mandibula, it will be posterior metastinitis because it will be going between to the throat. Understand what I mean? It's very welcome. It's open door for this important. Why very important to find this and immediately of course, uh, this opening, it's not the polyclinic, it's not at the chair. We need a special instrument, we need a special 
Mm -hmm. Well, we need a, a anesthesiologist, of course. But if you find it and you understand what is it, please write immediately. See to immediately hospitalization. And the finally, how it looks. Yes. We can see the patient. What is it, guys? It's holder, holder, holder for the tongue. Yes, for open the mouth. What is it? It's a tongue, of course. What pa what surgeon did? removing Suction. the causing mm -hmm. tooth mm. in the same time mm. because mm. there mm. it's the adaptogenic phlegmon mm. of the floor of the mouth mm. understand it okay. in the same period in the same period we need to remove it and two mm. flaps now it's only like for the stop of the secretion because it's like the gores uh, after surgery, uh, it will be too big drainage mm -hmm. by by the maybe tube, uh, but we usually fix uh, by the gloves uh, materials uh, sterile uh, drainage. It's soft, not uh, penetrated like the foreign bodies inside the operative area, and uh, the patient really looks better and uh, regenerated and better. Survive. Yes, and can you see it? But patient breathing, this mm -hmm. one. Yes. But, uh, professor, uh, we should make the incision first, then extract the tooth. In the same time, yes. If you want, yes, please, but we usually need to open to understand because you palpate it, you understand where is it. Because sometimes very hard to understand, uh, to understood tool. which tools, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, if it's possible, we extract it all. But we know we not only like need to save uh, the uh, life, but we think after how the patient will be leaving without, without and possible not possible of course uh, of course before you know it, that we check on ct scan if we have ct scan or of course we need to uh, to see the x-ray panoramic x-ray uh, intraoral extraoral but usually if we saw the patient with this the general condition is poor i mean patient cannot discuss with you, no dialogue between you and between uh, the patient. Mm. It's very, usually it's the emergencies with this, you have 15 minutes to understand what is it, check X-ray blood analysis, uh, call to the anesthesiologist, uh, then planning what we will do. It's so, so short. Usually we only wait the blood analysis yeah. test, the result of it. To understand maybe a patient has hiv, HIV. who knows yeah. we don't know CP. patient maybe has systemic diseases uh about maybe patient has diabetes it's absolutely different tactics immediately because intravenous it's not only uh general medicine uh, i mean the general anesthesia the same the uh, glucose, the same the uh, vitamins, the same the physiological solution because patient cannot eat, cannot drink a long time. We need to preparing, but it's really, it's like the emergencies. When you saw by the cinema, it's like this. But on the cinema, it's the, uh, it looks like the very quickly, but really it's more quickly in real life because we don't have more time. We need to uh, fight for the life, for the patient and uh, save the patient. What do you think? We discussed it. How many times, how, how days, how many days 
uh, we need uh, to treat the patient at the maxilla facial surgery department. Two weeks. Sometimes more. more. Yeah. First three days patient with this diseases were in which department? No. In reanimation. Wow. In intensive in therapy. Care. Yes, intensive care. First three to four days. Then if it's normalized the general condition what we can do we can open uh, we can take away the breathing if the patient can breathe yes it depends possible or not possible how to understand it possible or not possible if the phlegmon of the flow of the mouth the position of the tongue we check it yes mm -hmm. then we check of course the how the wound area looks after it's very important what the clinical what the clinical symptom can help us to understand that it's normalizing not regeneration immediately but normalizing the color the change the color can you see how it looks it red it's like inflammation yes what about the secretion because you going three times a day to this patient to clean it with the with your nurse to change the drainage and to clean it to to see it's like the check of the patient yes and the characteristic of the past of course you give immediately systemic antibacterial therapy desintoxication therapy but we need to wait the body it's not uh, it's the response. yes we need to wait usually we, we are waiting to understand uh, of course we clean of course but how to check first ac for hours helps you to understand what it will be because when you open of course it's better but how to understand no complication maybe you open and the complications start early and how to prognose of course you check the patient and then general of course condition the function uh, and the how looks uh, the uh, skin the skin needed to change the color if it's hyperemic like red it will be slightly 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 decrease of course it not will be normally after four days but it different color yes different intensity of the red color that's the first need to change the secretion the quantity and the quality of secretion ah <sighs> And when we open, we need to see really present crepitation or no. You remember, we discussed mm -hmm. a little crepitation. What does it mean? Always when we touch the patient, why we use the palpation? Your fingers is like the instrument to understanding the real process. It's like you feel the color, uh, you feel uh, the temperature and you use uh, the sensitivity your sensitivity i mean the doctor's sensitivity and if it's norm, normal microflora i mean adentogenic microflora it will be no sounds inside but if you understand it's like the inside like bubbles you will remember when we discussed uh, when we remove the tooth from the upper jaw and will be bubbles with the blood. Bubbles with the blood in, inside it is the maxillary sinus. If we discuss, it will be the same like bubbles inside under the skin. It the characteristic of anaerobic microflora, and we need to give another type of antibacterial therapy uh, for the antibacterial therapy we will give it intravenous yes of course patient cannot 
intravenous or intramuscular. Mm -hmm. Usually, if the patient on this condition, uh, okay, we intravenous. give intravenous, yes. And uh, the uh, quantity and the quality of uh, antibacterial therapy depends on the age, on the condition, uh, condition of the patient, I mean, on the one, two, three areas, and depends on the spectrum of, the spectrum the of bacteria. Yes, the How? Yes, we do the test. Yeah. When we open it, uh, first uh, part of the purulent going, then you going the sterile part to understand, and after 20, uh, not 20, yes, 24 hours, we have the answer from the laboratory about the test of which microorganism stimulates this. Of course, we give the antibacterial therapy immediately, but we can change doses or one more all the time, yes, to understand uh, the real reason of microflora, uh, which type of microflora stimulates uh, this inflammation. The majority of times that you will be more than antibiotic association. For of course, it's always two or more. Uh, One hundred percent. Uh, we use two. Usually, it's the macrolides, cephalosporines, or penicillines, and cephalosporines, or penicillines, or macrolides. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if anaerobic microflora, it will be another third specific for anti mm -hmm. anaerobic. Yes, and desintoxication therapy. How many days we give the patient antibacterial therapy? what we, we discussed, 10 or 14, 10, 100 percent, there of course 10 it's not enough, there will be uh, two weeks, yes, sometimes when we give the antibacterial therapy we have the answer from the patient, I mean the good answer, but sometimes it looks like the stop, it doesn't mean that it's not enough, we need to give more, Anti more time or another one type of uh, antibacterial therapy, antibacterial medicine, I mean. And desintoxication therapy always. Why desintoxication therapy immediate, uh, immediately, not immediately? <laughs> Need for the patient for this period, for the blood. Patient cannot eat, cannot drink. What happened with viscosity of the blood? High viscosity. What happened with the heart if patient has blood with high Decreased viscosity? Heart, uh, patient has hypertension. Yes. Why we give uh, the desintoxication therapy? Desintoxication therapy idea only three. One, we need to give the solution that the viscosity will be normally. If viscosity will be normally, we stimulating the secretion by the renals for evacuation this all negative products of inflammatory process from the body and when we give the desintoxication therapy we stimulate macular macular circulation because they're absolutely stop you know that you know from the general medicine if uh, we if one organs um, suffering from we give the shock to the yes to the superficial because it's the generalized of blood circulation and the superficial part I mean skin uh, hands legs suffering from the product of intoxication and we need to stimulate to decrease from the main organism. And the desintoxication therapy is not only physiological solution, it's the special components, special, yes, if the patient cannot eat, cannot drink. Usually patient stop to, to eat before surgery, one week. When patient cannot drink, it's the final step that the patient want to go in to the doctor it's only one reason if the patient sit at home with this situation think about the mentality of course patient afraid you but it's not the same 
if you remember what uh, complaints of the patient can stimulate the patient visit to the dentist Cannot. cannot open, cannot close, cannot drink, cannot sleep, sleep, cannot eat. Five. Cannot sleep. No problem. Yes? Cannot open. For maximum, for example. It's no problem. Cannot close. Cannot eat. Cannot eat. But when finished, cannot drink. It will be final that the patient going to the doctor, but it of course it was too late. It's too late, but unfortunately it can happen. Of course, it's the long therapy for regeneration. It's long therapy for reconvalescence of the organism, and the patient usually for all life has. Uh, the problem uh, with um, with heart. You remember from the general medicine that we have uh, myocarditis, yes? And usually after that, it's uh, not uh, my statistic, it's the statistic, general statistic, that after abscess and phlegmon, 80 Five percent of the patient has hypertension after this one and how to treat more understand it now clinical picture you saw more with me the flap you you remember yes the patient was the flap how looks the jaw and when you check the examination task Please. So it will be examination Please. task in the exam. An examination task, yes, will be it uh, will be examination with part and examination task. With One the with the uh, examination card will be two question. One from infl inflammation. One from trauma, mm. and the examination task will be uh, from uh, um, inflammation yes. and the trauma too. Yes. Yeah, one yes, 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 one, 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 one. Only uh, the examination uh, question you saw, uh, it's only one uh, what we discuss on this semester, not more. Extra question, maybe, if we, uh, if I'm not satisfied with your mark, or uh, it will be for your uh, examination card. For example, you have the question um, abscess, uh, for example, phlegmon of an infraorbital area, topographic anatomy, and the uh, operative excess. If it will be not satisfied, I can ask uh, what type of complication will be if the uh, phlegmon or if the inflammation going deeper. Only the name of this metastinitis, meningitis, for example, yes? Uh, Obsessive, uh, like this one. Professor, the infection of the brain, meningitis, or it's, uh, that can be influenced by two, the infraorbital and the hyperbolic. Uh, yes, yes, just to. Yes. We have one, uh, if uh, it's the uh, pterygoid fossa, yes. Of course, it's not uh, the abscess and uh, the abscess uh, of the brain of legmon of the brain. Um, it's not uh, first; it's the secondary. Mm -hmm. And you know that from this area, only infraorbital, we have adentogenic area. Pterygoid fossa is the always secondary or non-adentogenic. You know it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's the different time. Because uh, when question. when uh, will be etiology and pathogenesis, please don't uh, answer about one tooth uh, suffering, uh, the patient with this tooth suffering one or two years and then start the changes. Of course, it's not the adaptogenic. It's the straight uh, or it will be secondary. Straight, uh, what the reason if you remember the... Um, Conductive cycle of anesthesia for the upper jaw, you remember it. 
uh, when we anesthetize the posterior anterior alveolar mm -hmm. nerve block, we we can use it. Anesthesia is the conductive type, but unfortunately, uh, the complication after this anesthesia will be abscess because will be hematoma. You remember the vessels and the nerve who localize their plexus of the uh, venous uh, vessels. And when you penetrate, it may be the hematoma. Hematoma can regenerate, but cannot regenerate too. If it cannot regenerate, it's the forming the focus of inflammation uh, with purulent sedation, and we have abscess and phlegmon there. Mm -hmm. It's the mechanism how without uh, the um, without, uh, the without the tools, we have the abscess and phlegmon. Mm -hmm. But finally, it's not the adentogenic, yes? We discuss it because it's uh, not the mistake of the uh, who or the mistake of the dentist, but sometimes this complication will be yes. If you understand, usually first three. How to understand that it's not good? First two days nothing, but on the third day patient close mouth and cannot open, mm. and this is the first uh, symptom. Immediately going to the dentist. And we start immediately antibacterial, anti disintoxication, antihistaminical therapy. No physiotherapy, you know why it. Mm -hmm. And then we wait one to two days to understand if it will be possible to regenerate under the um, antibacterial and disintoxication therapy. It's good without flap. If it's impossible, we need to open this area. There, too quickly, because space. Here, yes, if you remember the uh, skull, yeah, the structure, the, the, the anatomical bone structure, you understand why. It's two, three, four days and... Yes. Yes. We work with the whole body, unfortunately, not with the teeth or tooth. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> You know that uh, we have a new uh, clinical recommendation about the first aid, about the first emergency uh, for the some uh, situation. And uh, now uh, we have the rule uh, step by step what we should do if the patient has an um, anaphylactic shock, uh, cardiac, or be healthy, yes, hypertension, uh, collapse, uh, fainting. And first, uh, from the step when I read it, <laughs> it was like my smile. Please understand that you is safe situation. The doctor is safe situation first. <laughs> I to understand it. It's no time for this. But really, yes, especially if you are at, for example, at the airport, at the shop, uh, at the street. Because we don't know if we cannot see what before you you saw you see on this the patient with this situation. Maybe this situation will be too. Who knows? Uh, some guys crazy. And first of all, understand that you at the uh, normal situation without uh, emergencies for you. Yes, interesting. Uh, ten minutes for break, okay? And we continue with the tears. How does the patient look with the drop? Perfect look, yes? Yes. <laughs> what do you think? What the final diagnose will be there? Box in the left eye. <laughs> in, the, in the right eye of the patient. But patient fight for last part of the bread, yes, in the shop. Can you s Nothing. Can you see the configuration, please? Yes. Yeah, yes. In the zygomatic bone. The bone of the zygomatic yes. You remember we discussed With we the use the palpation of all part of the bone in two sides. All in two sides. How the name of this palpation? B. B. Manuel palpation. It doesn't mean use two hands. Yes. What do you think? Why patient 
has this perfect view with hematoma on the orbit. What's the mechanism of this? Remember, please, the fracture of the zygomatic bone. Which muscles touches with the zygomatic bone? Uh, temporal. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Masseter. Zygomatic bone. Can you palpate the zygomatic bone by yourself? Yes. 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 Perfect. Zygomatic bone covering by which Muscle. levels of the soft tissues? We have fat, skin, fat, fat. and fascia. The skin, Muscles. fat, and bone. Zygomatic bone covering by the fat. <coughs> Skin, bone, skin and the bone, skin and the bone. Skin, muscle. How many structures on the chromatic bone? The name of the structures of the chromatic bone. Zero. Skin, muscle. Skin, muscle. Bone. From which part of the zygomatic bone are they attached? <laughs> How long is zygomatic bone, guys? <laughs> we have. Yes. Under the zygomatic bone, which structure is localized? Zygomatic bones is like the arch. Yes? Mm -hmm. Are you agree with me? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Superficial covering under the zygomatic bone. Which structure is localized? Sinus. Uh, bone. Uh, there is the, the fat. Um, uh, there is the fat. Uh, the fat of the. <laughs> Not leg. <laughs> we discuss head. No. Leg, you discuss Nagus. another room. Buckle <laughs> fat or cheek? Yes. 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 Yes, that's right. Inside the fat localize vessels and nerves. Where is hematoma? Why the hematoma there? Because the building destroyed in the business. Zygomatic bone has two sutures bone. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has two communication. What is the name of this communication? It's like your like right. Sphenoid. 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 Yes. It's called the. No, no. It has three words. Yes, that's right. Where is here? Why is there present hematoma? Not this in zygomatic area. Why? Because here we have fat. Because there is structure of the of the fissure of the zygomatic. We have fat here. We saw the patient with the fracture. Yes. Of course, we we cannot see the fractured line. If it's closure type, yes? Open type only you can see inside the oral cavity. If you can see the part of the of the fractured bone. If it's localized inside, 
is destroyed the and destroyed the vessels but why inside the eye because there is hematoma about the nerve the 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 which at which artery localized the nerve zygomatic zygomatic nerve they has connection to the to the orbit from infra orbital anatomy remember what do you think if you can see the patient what will be the diagnosis first diagnosis patient opens the door and going with this perfect view what you saw what do you think drama yeah first or fracture no, no drama or or allergy or eye infection. Three one. Then patient sit. You ask the patient where, when, how, how long it was. How many? Yes, we discuss about possibility to answer what's very important to ask what will be the very important question where from from a long time or no how what no. time it we happened. ask how when where how long and lost of vision it was function we discussed no lost of Function. Function. Yeah. Function. Sensation. Patient, yeah. remember yeah. how it works. Was loss of loss of patients? No. Yes. If it was, how it was long? Why they are important? Because each trauma we has superficially, and we have changes. There maybe patient go to the Russian perfect weather like this one to the shop and lay down and then like this don't one remember. don't remember patient remember all what was or was period without memory understand what I mean it's very important because maybe patient has Systemic two changes. Okay, he said no. Everything is okay. Was three days ago. Why three days? I said. So at the patient, what? Which color of the skin? Yellow. Three to five days, mm. usually three. And you ask, in what time it was? He said on Monday. Mm. Now it's Thursday. Mm. Okay, we know it. <laughs> then no loss of memory. Next question: What you did at home? Mm. The okay. patient said nothing. nothing. Next question. Why you visit me? What pa what patient answer? I feel pain. Pain. Change of concentration. No sense. Pain. Lost of vision. Sensitivity. Sensitivity. Yes. Change of the Function. vision. Pain when I Open. Opening see. Door, eat something. An asymmetry of the face. Asymmetry of the face and if the patient has trauma of the zygomatic bone, no change on bite. Change. How bite change? No. How bite change? It's a distant one. If yeah. if it only in one, it's not only separate of the zygomatic bone. It will be the fracture of the maxillary too. Usually, if it's the fracture of the zygomatic bone. No change on the occlusion. Patient can eat, can drink, can open. and feel. Complaints of the patient. I cannot move 
the eye. Usually this patient go to the ophthalmologist, not to the autotraumatologist. Then loss of sensitivity in infraorbital area, mm -hmm. of course view, you understand it. And the pain, because the hematoma, can you see the eye? Mm -hmm. What we should do? Why we see the nose too? There. Because uh, the majority of time when we have broken or uh, trauma in the nose, we get uh, the same thing, a problem in under the eye. But the majority, if it's nose, both of them, that will be uh, bilateral. Or if it's uh, we have the problem with the nose and we have the same clinical feature from the both side, it does mean that we have the fracture of the maxillary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But then change the bite. Of course, change the occlusion and the patient condition yeah. different like this one. And step by step. Yes, step by step. It's like the routine. Why? Different mm. examination. Yes, of the patient. Different like it was in abscess and phlegmon. Why we need to see the nose? Maybe was the fracture of the vestibular wall of the maxillary sinus. Yes. And you can see the bleeding from the, the nose. nose. Yes? Mm. Yes. Sometimes it together because the, it's the zygomatic complex. Because will be zygomatic arch Connection. and full. You know it. Okay. <coughs> On the nose? Normally. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What will be the next step? X-ray to understand if we have uh, which type of X-ray we need to see. Panoramic X-ray. What we can see on panoramic? Both sides of the on the upper and lower. I can I I I can do I can I I don't want panoramic because it's the X-ray lighting, but. No result. MRI. Which side of X-ray? If we think scan. about the zygomatic bone, OBC. we use. CT scan. You can use the X-ray, extra oral, front mm -hmm. and the lateral. lateral side. To understand where is it? Of course, we can use MRI there to understand where is it or CT scan to understand the level mm -hmm. of fractured the line. Mm -hmm. Yes, MRI soft tissue too, because we need to know damage the nerve or no there. Mm -hmm. On CT scan only bone or bone structure. Hard hard structure. structure. structure, hard, hard structure. structure. Next step, what we should do with the patient? Patient come back to you with x-ray, with the result, CT scan, it doesn't matter. We see it, we saw the final diagnosis on CT scan, or only the disc we need to find on the disc, because in some, um, in some departments, uh, we, have, uh, we have only result by uh, visual, no writing like a resume for this one, yes. And you need to see the X-ray or to see the CT scan to understand what is it. Next step, what we should do? If it's only uh, the fracture or the zygomatic bone, which type of uh, fracture of zygomatic bone you know it from classification? Bone. Fracture of the bone. No. The idea of the uh, fractured uh, treatment, reposition to the right position, position. position. and fix. 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 fix if it's if the fracture inside the teeth, I mean teeth raw inside, we can use conservative, conservative surgical and the surgical fixation. If we discuss the zygomatic bone, which type of treatment we use? It depends. Conservative. It's, conservative. It's conservative. Reposition, okay. We need always to do the reposition to the right position and fixation. Mm. Which type of reposition we use there? It depends. Mm -mm. 
Can you see the different uh, configuration of the zygomatic? Yeah. Yeah. We need to reposit to the right position. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes present fracture of the zygomatic bone without changes the position. It's like the crack line yeah. without changes. There no therapy, mm -hmm. but okay. we prescribe no physical examination, no nothing, prescribed antibacterial, antihistaminical. We can use the local physiotherapy there, but here changes the position. We need to reposit to the right position. What is the name of instrument we use for reposition? Screw. Hook of... Yes, this one is the name. It's very famous. But it's not it's not only hook. He was very famous surgeon. Very famous. James Rodriguez. German, German. <laughs> like a James Bond in surgery, <laughs> but we know it the one hundred percent the name, not like James Bond. Okay. Okay. We use this instrument. You need to check because on examination card we have the question: which name of instrument we need to use for this technique? <laughs> then what we, how to understand that we use the right technique for reposition? What the method? We see the patient, yes? We use uh, the uh, we use the surgery procedure. It's the surgery procedure, it's not the conservative reposition we use the special instrument to reposit to the right position then how to understand that we reposit to the right position from the operation room you go with your patient to the x-ray department to take the x-ray picture to understand that now of course you can see because the volume changes of this area and you hear like a right. it's really like this one when you see when will be uh, when you hear uh, when will be in the right position of the zygomatic bone okay when we see it on x-ray by x-ray uh, that it's right next step Patient at the maxillofacial surgery department. Next step. How to fix the zygomatic bone? We use only reposition. Yes? How to fix the zygomatic bone? Which instruments? We will do the screw with the... This is the osteosynthesis. But we use the surgical reposition with the hook. Yeah, only Adam, yes. No, no, no. Not Adam. We just uh, remove the fragments. Yeah. And if it's only one part of fractured line and the zygomatic bones like this change there, then you use the hook to fix to the right position. We don't use the special fixator because if you remember how looks the zygomatic bone is like the arch and the thickness of this one to two and half millimeter in diameter you can see impossible to fix the by the screw we use the screw only in one time if you have more than two fragments of the fractured part of the gematic bone. Yes, usually at that time, if it's if it's present, we use uh, like a titanium plastic. It looks like one, one dirt hook. 
Lindbergh's Hall. Yeah. It's the famous Russian scientist and the famous Russian surgeon. The plastic looks like this one. They lo looks like the zygomatic bones, arch. Yes, like this one. And fixed with special titanium screw. The thickness of the titanium plastic, one and a half millimeter in diameter. Why? So thin. For the, the zygomatic bone, it's thin. It's First thin. reason, second yeah. reason. To not to the uh, destroy the, the, volume. Volume. The, volume. the volume. The volume. The volume. And for all life, patient, with you with, uh, mouse your face. Mm. Yes? Wash. <laughs> and the patient always touch it. It doesn't matter, man, woman, young, old, it doesn't matter. Why we use this? Of course, we don't, we prefer only, if it's possible, to use one instrument without special fixator. But sometimes it's impossible. How it looks? Another perfect. Doctor, uh, we make the op operative surgery. We we open and we 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 put this hook. No, uh, we use uh, the um, we use the operative access intraorally. We use like a small uh, about uh, one centimeter in diameter flap, and then we give the hook inside and and elevate. Yes. It's uh, intraorally, not Intra extraorally. Mm. How the patient look with the drug? Can you see it not was that the... Uh, sorry, sorry. Can you see how look the patient when the patient has trauma? It's the fracture of the bone, mm -hmm. fracture of the jaw, and the damage or injuries of the soft tissue. tissue. Mm -hmm. We don't discuss at last, but uh, we discuss a little bit now. What will be the difference between the normal trauma and the trauma by the animals? I mean, like uh, by the dog, mm -hmm. by the other type, what will be the difference? The Injuries. Skeletal trauma will be just uh, a problem so in the heart tissue more. inside without any injury. Yeah, without and with the the injury or something, we will soft have a defect of the soft tissue. With defect, the first we are afraid the defect because they like eat part. Mm. Yes, uh, take away the part. Yes, yes, first. Second one, animal has the microflora and the soft and hard plug. This immediately infected, yes. And the second one, the wound area looks like, like you said, without straight line. The line will be like this one with the defect. This is three big problem if we have this no. But we have the defect of the soft tissue of the upper lip too. Can you see the damage of the upper lip? Yes. Here, uh, with uh, the uh, words, the first uh, aid of the patient, but can you see the level of the defect? Here, no. What the structure now? Muscles. Uh, what will be finally there if we don't use the plastic immediately? If it's possible to use the two-in-one plastic? Will be the big defect who covering like a scarf? and will be the limitation of the mouse, mouse movements. Yes. What inside perfect? Inside. 
Can you see what's inside? It's like round. For the upper lip present as the sutures. Yes, you understand it that is sutures. It's after after the low function. jaw. See the low jaw. The same. Structure of the tooth. Crowding. Maybe a crack in the, the reposition. Can you see uh, the, the uh, occlusion line? This, yeah. this one. This it's possible to be together, like this one. No. no. This is possible to be that the half of the canine without mucous membrane. It's a young woman. Yes. Mm. No disease of parodontium when we lost the soft tissue. But this bird is not from the trauma, yeah? But she had it before. No, I think it's trauma. No, no, it's not trauma. Guys, it's the fracture of the lower jaw. Yeah. 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 And can you see how looks yeah. inside yeah. the mucous membrane? It's the sutures, okay. But next step will be reposition with osteosynthesis. Yeah. Can you see the trauma? inside yes. this white is the necrosis mm -hmm. as the uh, fibrino uh, fibrinose plaque and this is the necrosis how to eat it's impossible we wait the time we're preparing the patient for the osteosynthesis before we closure with the reposition of the soft tissue like a cosmetic for the upper jaw and then will be operation to the osteosynthesis of the lower jaw. By the first view, you thought that this damage or injuries of the soft tissues. Yeah. When you saw, when you observe the patient deeper, you understand that it's not only soft tissues. Why we discussed it? In 95% all trauma combination, it doesn't mean it's not separate hard tissues, tooth, teeth, jaw. It's always together with the soft tissues. Please, you need to understand. Sometimes the patient looks like a meat, really. But when you clean it, when you reposit to the right position, you feel that you use the standard method of plastic in the same time to constrict the area and to the stimuli the regeneration if you don't use it immediately the part without nutrition i mean crashed part has necrosis the idea of the sutures to how said uh, to reconnect yes the vessels of course will be defect will be maybe will be the necrosis but if you cut a little to the fresh wound area and reposit to the right position you stimulize immediately microcirculation nutrition if what if we await the osteosynthesis, what happened with the upper jaw? Defect with necrosis. We reposit to the right position with slightly plastic procedure and closure it and fix. Patient different looks. It's a second, it's a sad day, two days after surgery. I mean after upper. Absolutely different. But how looks inside the oral cavity? Worser like it was before because no therapy no treatment understand what i mean if it will be possible to closure to the right position the same will be but we need to reposit with osteosynthesis because it's not only uh the one fractured line this between uh the central and the lateral incisor and between the canine, canine. not canine between the premolars and yes 
this uh, here, she has um, two fractures. Two fractured lines, yes. One between this and this. And these small pieces going upper, you remember how it happened. Of course, there is only osteosynthesis. How many days patient treatment at the hospital? Two weeks. Two weeks. After osteosynthesis. Yes. What do you think? From which day we start with antibacterial therapy? Day. Immediately, immediately when we see the patient. Of course, it cannot, uh, it's not works very good because we don't repose it to the right position, but we need to give it immediately. This is how we work. It's the real working of maxillofacial surgery. It's, it's, it's not big not surgeon, one. big flap. <laughs> really. Every day. You know, uh, we have now the different situation. I don't know why it's uh, like this one. Uh, I saw the patient uh, with Franco. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, he came back to me. I said, Why are you going to me? You need to go to the maxillofacial uh, department. He said, You know, in a uh, polyclinic, I was at the consultation. Uh, a young woman said, you, you, you need to use the levomicol for application. If it cannot finished, you come back to me. When I saw it, I said the telephone and call to the head of the department and ask, what do you think possible if the patient has phlegmon applying uh, the metrogel gel to the skin and if it's not finished, come back to the doctor again. It's about not not you it's about that you need to work good you can work work everywhere in which department you prefer but you need to have a good work it doesn't matter dental surgery you need to be a good doctor all we promise you finished for today Dislocation, yes. Um, it's, it's, you know, that uh, dislocation fracture to uh, bruise is like uh, to ship uh, when uh, uh, tools in the same place but uh, um, pulp is necrosis. Mm. What, what we can answer? Main you can answer uh, that it can happen, say the traumatic. How to understand? It's like the acute periodontitis looks. The, uh, the uh, tooth looks like an acute periodontitis. And your analysis change the color, tooth in the same place, no mobility, no change uh, by vertically. But you can see, you can use the pulp. Um, uh, you can see on X-ray no changes inside, but uh, electro-adonta diagnostic, pulp diagnostic, uh, uh, we know that it's 120 micron per What the treatment and the therapy? That's all. Yes. And uh, seven and the bulb is seven and eight. Is the different in the um, in the abscess and phlegmon? Yes, it's the different. It's only abscess. It's only phlegmon. Yeah. Just uh, we'll say it's more than one uh, space, and that's it. And no, uh, it's not only the different uh, time of the uh, diseases. It's the first, the general condition different, and uh, the how the patient looks abscess and phlegmon is different sublingual area. And these questions will be in the next class, yes? Uh, the, the, the others, yes? Mm.
اول واحد ازاي جوماتي هم لسه عاملين النهارده جوماتي كويس خالص هارد وير سايد فروم 31 هارد وير احنا بنعمل فروم فروم 31 تو ذا 40 ذا نيكست ده 